Necron, Ashar, Tundra, the Warden's Playgrounds. Legion Giants will reclaim the Dark Sector for Grax, a Warden Reborn. Yeah, no, I think you're gonna die. We might as well take out some pirates while we're down here. Let's see, apparently if you un unequip the weapons... Warning. Incoming outlaw hyperspace trap. With the laser guns, you can you can actually... Uh, if you unequip your weapons, you can actually use the... To the resistance fighters of the frontier sector. I, Proxima Drawl, will keep watch over your demise. With this dreadnought in place, there's no stopping the Legion. You know, the cool factor kind of disappears when you kill a couple of these things. When my last prime fell, I knew you'd be coming for this dreadnought. Well, what are you waiting for? This dreadnought doesn't have any prime left. Now's our best chance. Nice try. I am dangerous. Oh boy. Yeah, no, let's 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 just focus on Fox. We got the one thing what I needed, which was EXP rate. Everything else on any of the other characters isn't going to make that much of a difference. And who knows? Maybe I'll do some off off-screen grinding. With the other characters, it's not like it takes too long. Uh Look as as it stands. Whoo boy. Nice! Keep going! You don't know what you've decided to mess with. I got crazy cannons! God, I would love to play a Star Fox game without all this op open world nonsense, but like crazy weapon com- uh, the first course. You know, you, crazy weapon crafting like this. Take them out. God, that would be super satisfying. What are you up to? Glitching, that's what. Let's see, what would I rate this game? Definitely a 7 or an 8. It's one of those where, like, the core gameplay is so fun and so well done that it's kind of baffling uh, that they... It feels like they squandered it a little bit. You know, it's kind of one of those where it's like, this would have been an, um, an amazing, uh, you know, single-player, uh, heavy mission... Uh, you know, heavy, heavy mission, um, mission focus, linear story, uh, and, you know, really impressive set pieces and stuff, and they've got them. Sick. They've, they've got much of them. But, like, it could be a lot better to some degree with, like, I guess direct story missions on top of everything else. I Kind of how, like, uh, Horizon Zero Dawn, many of the story missions were kind of boring compared to the actual day-to-day. -day. Okay, I'm dying a little bit here. Okay, we want to switch you out because holy butts damage. All right, so you're the, you're right. Get a little bit of shield recharge. It's the elite drakes that got on my butt. I don't think I killed it. Too many basic enemies for a moment. Ah, I didn't get it.
And so it's kind of one of those where it's like, ow. Yeah, I might have just got hit by a couple of these. That could have done the damage. Come on, open up. There's the next one. There you are. Bunch of these guys spawning. Wish this game had Star Wolf's theme. It's got some theme when you're fighting Star Wolf's dudes. I know that much. Uh -oh. Time to go. Bye, Slappy. This thing is, uh... Awkward in space. It does a decent amount of damage, though. Okay. One more of you. Nope, that's actually the Elite. Where'd you go? There you are. Okay, let's just go to the other side. Yeah, if they tweaked it and reskinned it, it would be an awesome Robotech Macross game. Too bad Harmony Gold is the worst. Oh, is Harmony Gold in charge of Robocross as well? That sucks. Okay, here we go. By all means, come on in. You won't be staying long. You won't be living long. Right. Okay, cool. We can we can go way faster. Straight up, they barely do damage to me. Actually, this would be a good time to switch back to the R wing. Way more maneuverable, and it's definitely got its health back at this point. Uh, unless we do that. It'll come back. We should probably go to the, some of those uh, new planets as well and go crack open the Warden Vaults. Because there's some stuff there I should probably grab. Okay, so we can't go up or down. Got a jet. Uh, where's the exit? Ready to go. Uh, pardon? Oh, there we go. All of them looked like they're full of fire, and I was just like, how do I, how do I actually do this? How's the ship on the inside? It seems way bigger than the outside. Yeah, I'm fairly certain they put you in like an instant. Wasn't supposed to happen. Proxima, you disappoint me. I had such high hopes for you. No matter, Starlink, you will still fall to the Legion. One way or another. Hey, we're leveled up there. Uh, let's see, so we want to do... Oh, oh, we got this. Uh, the upgraded version. A little bit more defense. Yeah, go figure, we take a bunch of damage. This thing is, uh, not very defensible, comparatively. Oh, well. Uh, let's see. So we, we level up. Oops. We leveled up. What do I put it in? There we go. Alright. While we're here, we got that, like, right there. Might as well go punch some pirates in the face. <laughs> parked right next to the uh, the dreadnought. Oh, all pilots level up. Warning, incoming outlaw hyperspace trap. So wait, that's a that's a mechanic for killing the dreadnought. Everybody got a level. Well, looky what we got here. Wake up, everyone. Today's our lucky day. Nice fat prize just floated right into our lap. Take them out. Okay, go after their turrets. 
That'll make him nice and angry. That is pretty instantaneous. Oh, go ahead. Target the guns. We got plenty more where that came from. Oh, they are not happy with you. Keep taking out turrets. So these guys are level 14, but then again, I'm level 18. This shouldn't be too much of a problem. We do have some pirates coming after me, but I'm just going to kind of ignore them in favor of taking out the what turrets I can. I do so much damage. I do so much damage! I think I got them both. Alright, what else have we got here? I think there's mines. I probably got to pay more attention to the mines. Oh, I see. I, I got to actually shoot the, uh, the turrets on the ship. I was wondering about that. This isn't over. Hello. Uh oh, this ain't looking good for you. You sure? It's looking pretty bad for you. It's pretty satisfying just being able to nuke these guys. In one shot. Come here, boss man. There we go. I'll be back for you. You hear me? Let's see. So yeah, would I recommend this game to people? I'm having a lot of fun. It it may not be the best game, and like I could sit it sit down on paper and write all of the reasons why this game is, you know, not not as good as many of the other games I've played this year. Uh but court. Core reasoning is, I'm having a good time, and that matters a lot. Because it's, it's important to have a game that is enjoyable. So yes, it is a bit on the grindy side, it's got some weird design decisions. The main characters are uninteresting, to say the least. They don't have enough screen time, I think, to be interesting. I think that's the main problem. The lack of variety, the DLC and whatnot. But it's also kind of one of those where it's 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 good enough that I can look past all of those things and be like, I have fun. I have fun playing this. This or Spider-Man. Now that is a that's a conundrum, and I would say Spider-Man 100%. Spider-Man is really enjoyable. Uh, it's also made by a company that I like more. Insomniac Games, I this is gonna sound weird, but I'm gonna say of all of the game companies, Insomniac Games is one of the only AAA game, game companies that actually like truly deserves your money-ish. You know, most other, most other, uh, Most other indie, well, like indie companies, generally are kind of, well, they're they're great. But like most AAA, eh, they're okay. Holy crap! This place sucks. <laughs> oh my god! Eleven extractors. Uh, we better get cracking. Can I warp here? Can't warp there. Um, can I warp here? Oh, it's because I can't warp. Period. I think that the fact that you're playing mostly playing as Fox means the other characters don't have many interactions. The thing is, it's it's not that the the characters don't have many interactions. It's that uh, the only interactions you ever see between the characters are during cutscenes, and that's not necessarily a bad thing. But it's there's not enough cutscenes. Um, 
there's not enough cutscenes to give them the time to be characters. So they're charming and they're kind of fun. But, you know, Wander Song is a very character-focused thing. And so you can have these, like, kind of quirky, quirky, weird characters. But as it stands, I actually find half of them insufferable. Hello. Destroy the Legion Prime to reduce the Legion's presence. Yep, got it. Same deal. Something's not right with Curry. Good work. With every step, we come closer to reclaiming Karit. Then what? We got a plan? Well, if Grax is in another Atlas system, we need to extend Starlink's range. But for that, we're going to need power. The Equinox is using all the Nova it can. It won't work. Unless you got a way to power the ship remotely. Remotely? Like how the Prime feeds power to the Dreadnought. That's right. If only we had a machine to do it. Can we build our own? Yeah, the Legion did, so I'm sure we can figure something out. Meanwhile, keep pushing back the Legion and building our alliance on Kareed. We're gonna need all the help we can get. So I think I'm gonna fill this entire place with workshops if I can. There's a ton of stuff here. Weapon efficiency improved. Remember, we need three Starlink Towers across Atlas to power up the Equinox. That's the only way we're going to be able to send our ships far enough to reach Grax. Good work. With every step, we come closer to reclaiming Kareet. Then what? We got a plan? Well, if Grax oh, is no. in Atlas system, we need to extend... It continues! But for that, we're going to need power. The Equinox is using all the Nova it can. It won't work. They're on loop! Unless you got a way to power the ship remotely. Remotely? Like how the Prime feeds power to the Dreadnought. That's right. If only we had a machine to do it. Can we build our own? Yeah, the Legion did, so I'm sure we can figure something out. Meanwhile, keep pushing back the Legion and building our alliance on Kareed. We're gonna need all the help we can get. The hell are you? Nice. The star map's looking a lot better. Our alliance, too. Great. We're gonna need all the help we can get. So you got a way to reach Grax? Yes. As Mason said, we need to extend Starling's range. The issue is having enough power to do it. So we've been in the lab designing a structure that can both store Nova and teleport it directly to the Equinox. Sort of like a mini Starlink. Even better, it won't just be us powering Starlink, but our allies as well. Wait! Wait, that's what you were drawing this whole time! Man, you should have put some big machine guns and like a nuclear missile on that thing! And what exactly was your contribution in the lab? Huh? No, nothing! Hey, I've been banned ever since I built that pyro theme park for the lab mice. You remember that? Ugh, how could I forget? <laughs> well, we're almost there. Just a few more outposts to build and some extractors to take down and we'll be ready. Okay, so he sucks. Heat damage received. He sucks real bad. Uh, you know what? Let's see. Wasn't there another one of these that gave me? There we go. Recommend using cold weaponry against the enemy. How much damage do you do if you hit me? I don't know. Oh my god, he does nothing. Note to self when I run into these chuckleheads, I really just gotta go. Bad guy zero. I I really just gotta slam on a bunch of elemental resistance and live forever. I guess I could get some more of those like universal elemental resistance things. That would do the trick. Okay, so this place actually let's let's clear the extractor first. I want to see the pyro theme park for rats. Legion yeah. Detected. Like extractor detected. Power rating moderate. Probe destroyed. This game would be very set. Oh, right, fire giants. Okay, so let's let's switch out the flamethrower here. Uh, it's this whole planet is fire themed. So that's going to bite us in the butt real quick. We could try, try precise gravity bursts. I haven't tried this thing. I don't know what it's going to do. 
Crusher. Yes, you get to be an experiment on how weapons, how this weapon works. Extra damage, extra rate of fire. We don't really need the extra range. Let's get some EXP on this. I uh, see it's it's a Warning. The enemy is resistant to heat weapon rate. It's a pretty solid uh gravity burst gun. Works great for me. Hello. You stop doing that. Thank you. Thank you very much. Is he already dead? He's already dead. Target the main Sweet. Oh. I guess it's already dead. Yeah, it's a black hole burst minigun. I guess burst gun? I'm not entirely sure. It does a ton of damage. I might want to try the frost burst gun. Extractor destroyed. Yeah, we could try that. I've been using the shotgun for a little while now. Wouldn't be a bad idea to do frost and gravity, especially in a world like this. Yeah, let's do that. I can't wait until I actually have a bunch of mods so that I can... Uh... I can't wait until I have a bunch of every type of mod so I can actually just... Chuck it, um, you know, chuck everything on and not have to worry about, like, do I have enough for this? Because the answer will just be yes. Okay, the other thing is, we should probably switch this out. If I remember right, this thing, oh, this thing doesn't have any mods on it. Well, we might as well just uh, load it up for a second. I might even be able to use this for a while if I wanted to. So I don't have to use the R-Wing at all times. Okay. Uh... No. Where is the... He's over here. Let's go kill that Prime before I do too much. Oh, this this sounds like it's going to be fun. Uh, one question. You. So this doesn't actually really help nearly as much as you think it would. Like, it seems like it'd be a really good weapon. Oh, do we... Imp swarm detected. Do we get one of these? Wherever they're yeah. off to, it won't be good. We should stop them while we can. Imp detected. Oh yeah, things melt. Imp swarm neutralized. Nice job. You really brought the pain on those creepy crawlies. Yo, we got a fresh one. Let's get target eradicated. I'm just interrupting everybody today. All right, so I want to put a workshop down here. Obviously, one because I want to upgrade a workshop. workshop set up complete. Two because I want to. Looking to sell some of those cores you're carrying? Fly over here. We'll deal. Welcome back. Been a while. Thought some critter might have got you. Okay then, we'll get right to work repairing your fleet. We're about to go kill a Prime if I can. And I'm gonna want to be able to deliver it to one of these workshops. Ideally, I just get like a stupid amount of workshops and just anything works. Deliver items. Gonna take a while before this one gets maxed out. Anyway, where's the Prime? There's the Prime. Oh, that's it, right. Wait, hold on. Proximity alert. Prime detected. You're different. Warning. Legion reinforcements incoming. Let's party. Foggy down. Okay. Don't think I got it. I get it? Fascinating. I know plenty of expeditionaries who'd love to get that under a microscope. Okay. Drop it off at the nearest outpost. I'm sure they'll be grateful. So this sucker is special. You've 
got a piece of Normadon plate. The database says there are few materials found in Atlas that are harder. You're just gonna keep running away? Do I shoot you in the face? Ow. Well, you really can't run away from me. Baseline, I'm like faster than you, and that's not even counting what happens when I boost. My handling ain't so great, though. Proximity alert. Extractor detected. Power rating moderate. Not anymore. It's a single link in the chain. Destroy this one, and we could find the next. Extractor location marked. Check your star map for more detail. Okay, so he munched that one quick. So this is... This is... This is a new type of prime. I appreciate that. Its underside is vulnerable. Strike now. Either that or this is the same type of prime that I fought earlier. Oh, boy. Oh, there we go. That was neat. It died. But that was neat. <laughs> oh. Okay. I got more primes where that one came from. Kareem will be mine again soon. Prime destruction confirmed. Extractor's going dormant. Ha, I wouldn't have believed it if I hadn't seen it myself. Kareem is secure once again. For the most part. Yes. Now that we have Karit's expedition and prospectors on board, we're almost ready to start building the first Starlink Tower. Okay. Great work. We have all the resources we need. Now it's the same as any other outpost. We just need to find a good spot to build. Once the first Starlink Tower is done, we can figure out how many we'll need to reach Grax. Then I'm gonna kick that ugly beak boy's butt. Not if I get there first. All right. That was quick. Did that? Okay, so the extractors are here. They're just dormant. Imagine if it didn't warn you to fly up. That sucks. Database updated. Okay, so we just have to build one of these. Gotcha. Easy enough. Hello again. Still out there saving the world? The core energy unit of a Legion Prime? How did you get this? Thank you so much. Oh, Lines Booster. Defense and energy. That's kind of helpful. What else do we want? Heat armor. No, we don't need any more of that. We don't need cores, really. Yeah, I don't really need I don't really need any more of these. Okay. So we do want to level this thing up. I guess let's head for the imp nest first. I like how fast this ship is. It is satisfying. If I almost wish the modding situation was like even more like ridiculous, like you could get some really goofy mods late in the game. Unfortunately, they all seem very, very balanced, which is good. But, like, I'd love a mod that, like, gives you... That breaks the speed limit on this... On the game, but, uh... Destroys any semblance of, um... Destroys any semblance of handling you could possibly have. Ugh, they're a real problem. We should clear them out. Okay, so what do I need for a Starlink Tower? Imp swarm neutralized. Level up all allies on current planet. Oh god, that's expensive. Doing it. Nova Link established. It's working. Whoa, we should have juiced up the Equinox a long time ago. Check this out. What's going on? I think I can boost our scanners for just a Yes! Got something. Reading Legion activity near Atlas B. Yes! Way to go! Missin, you were right! That's gotta be Grax! Using Starlink to get there will be quite the challenge. But it can be done. By my calculations, we'll need one Starlink tower per sector. Great. We already have the trade sector covered. That means we need two more. So, looking at the star map, 
The frontier sector includes Vilas and Tundria. Shouldn't be too hard to get a tower there. The one in the dark sector, that needs to go on a Shar or Necrom. That'll be the toughest. I'd say save it for last, but the perks we get from securing the planet might be more advantageous early on. Those are some tough choices. I'm on the case. Well, we'll want to head to Tundria because I want to finish. Uh, I want to finish Star uh, Star Fox's story. Legion corruption Is detected a... on nearby fauna. Proximity alert. Extractor detected. Power rating moderate. You better Extract break it down, what? or our allies will be in serious danger. Oh, you. Got weapons doing crazy damage. Keep going. One problem is this does not have the, uh, it's got a little bit of, uh, kickback. But yeah, like a Riven mod from Warframe, or equivalent, uh, equivalent stupidity. Yeah. Holy shit. Can you imagine if, uh, Arcwings in Warframe played, nice like, work. the space we in this game? We got the location of the extractor that was linked to this one. Marking on your map now. That would be amazing. So I don't know how many of you guys are Warframe fans. I am. Uh... And, like, it would be incredibly satisfying. Is this... Oh. This is, like, something I'm supposed to decode. Nope, guess not. Reminder. Corrupted Nova samples like this are a valuable resource. It will fetch a high price at any outpost. Legion corruption detected on nearby fauna. Okay, we want to go back to... Oh, God, there's still a lot of extractors on this planet. We want to go back here. I'll come back. This looks really fun. Is it a Star Fox game? Eh, it's Star Fox cameo game. But it's got a Star, Star Fox mini campaign in it. So, close enough. But yes, you can play as Fox throughout the entire game. And it pretty much doesn't penalize you for it. I was trying to grind on some of the other characters. But now that I'm... <laughs> Now that I'm this far, I'm realizing I really didn't need to do that, actually. But yeah, I I do hope Ubisoft learns how to stop being fully uh, open-worldy with all their games, because they're... It's starting to get Looking crazy for me, like, it has been carrying? for ages. Fly over here. We'll deal. They're, like, I love open-world. Oh, hello. Um, all my specimens just got loose. Oh boy, what do you need? Oh, this stuff makes for great elemental shields. Here, let me power. I've already the data bank. Sure thing, pal. Great. I'll point you to an old survey site from the days of the first expedition. Okay, there we go. Let's see. But plus twenty speed. Well, I think we're actually go. We've. I think Legion are attracted to these sites for some reason. Be careful. I don't care about Legion. Nothing can stop me. Oh, right, this is one of those. Chips on the bit, bit of the oversensitive side of things. Okay, there we go. That's the device. Handle it carefully on the way back now. Okay, there we go. Uh, what was I even going to say? Yeah, they're a little bit formulaic. Our prospector allies have delivered a shipment of Electrum. Don't need all these messages. Hey there. Get what you were I after? really don't need all this chatter. I think if I were to play this game solo, I'd Hello probably just again. The voice acting. Still out there saving the world? Is that enough? That is enough. Yeah. See. 